Hi, this is Bob in the CTLT with a multimedia tip for faculty. I often hear faculty say they are not sure how to add video or audio into their Blackboard courses. Well, I have a solution for you. There are many approaches possible, and it will depend on what the source to the audio or video file is and how you want to present it to your students. The most important aspect deals with ownership. If you have created the video or audio, or if you have obtained the copyright permissions, you will have the most options available to you, including hosting it on Wabansi servers. If you found a video or audio file on the internet, and even if you can figure out how to download it, um, doesn't mean that you have the copyright. In this case, linking to the file may be the only option available. Here is a chart that may help you figure out what you may or may not be able to do with that audio or video you would like to use. Now, these three questions should be answered to help determine the possible options. What rights do I have or need to obtain for the video or audio file? Can this be hosted on a Wabansi server or only on the internet? How do I want the video or audio to appear for my students? Remember, video and audio files can be used within your courses by going through these three questions. If you would like more assistance getting started or to learn the technical aspect of implementing multimedia in your course, look for the session on Blackboard Audio, Video, Integration, and Best Practices offered through the CTLT. Also, if you have an idea that could be developed as a multimedia tip, please email us at ctlt at and let us know.